What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shiny Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a double team that features Torterra. Torterra is such a cool Pokemon. I absolutely love this Pokemon all around. And I just think he's one of like the more underrated starters. So hopefully we get to showcase him and give him a little bit of loving in today's video. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me by leaving a like on the video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But let's get started here with the team preview. We got Torterra, Arcanine, Raichu, Starmie, Scizor, and Crobat. This team is looking amazing. I cannot wait to use it and try to get some wins with it. But Torterra over here, we gave this thing the leftovers and a real bulky build for this guy considering he's just naturally defensively bulky so in that case we gave this thing the careful nature boosted special defense kind of make up for the lack of it and then we ended up putting evs in hp and special defense so if you look at its stats its defense is pretty great 247 on defense obviously it's going to get dropped when we go to level 50 and then 295 on uh special defense evs are hp special defense like i said and then we have the overgrow ability Move set right here is going to be Earthquake, Woodhammer, both for our stand moves, Protect, and Leech Seed for our two other moves. So if we can get Leech Seed set up, we can have Leech Seed health coming in, Leftover health coming in, and just protecting and just playing slow in the battle. So cannot wait to show showcase this Pokemon and try to get the Leech Seed set up for him. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Arcanine, who is just phenomenal. We use this exact same build in our recent videos, and this thing just works out so well. It has Flamethrower, Will-O-Wisp to burn physical attackers, Snarl to uh, drop special attackers, Protect for its final move, and then this thing's EVs is HP, special defense, and speed split. So it's really good. Obviously, intimidate ability and then timid nature alongside with the Aguav Berry for its item. Next Pokemon is going to be Raichu, and Raichu is phenomenal for fake out control and speed control with nuzzles and paralyzes. It just works so well, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. Nature is going to be timid to give it a little bit of speed boost, and then EVs are just special attack and speed while it's holding that focus ash. Lightning Rod is its ability, so that can protect our Starmie and our Crobat from electric moves. That's why I kind of gave it to this Pokemon. This Pokemon works so well with that. And then it has Fake Out, Nuzzle, Volt Switch, Pivot Out, and Brick Break for coverage and the Break Screens if the opposing team is actually forcing with them. Next Pokemon for the squad is Starmie over here, and I picked Starmie because... I just love Starmie. I just think it's a cool Pokemon. Plus, it's really, really good in this format. Its base speed is 115, which outspeeds most. And this thing is an absolute beast of a special attacker. We got Scald. We got Psychic, both for Stab, Protect, and Ice Beam. But I was kind of getting a little, like, confused on what move set I should use. Because I really want to use Hydro Pump. But I ended up going with Scald because it's just more reliable and Hydro Pump misses a lot. And then I wanted to go Ice Beam. But at the same time, I wanted to go Nasty Plot to set up. But I was just thinking there's too many Glide Scores. There's too many Guard Chomps. We're going to definitely need a Pokemon with an Ice Move on the squad. So this is the move set I ended up rolling. Its EVs are going to be Special Attack and Speed. We have this thing as just a Special Attack Sweeper. This thing can do a lot of work, do a lot of damage and it has the analytic ability nature is going to be timid to give that speed boost and then finally the item that we we're rocking out with this pokemon is going to be the life orb final pokemon for the squad is going to be scissor and this pokemon just works well in like all situations really all situations we ended up giving this thing the metal coat because i honestly didn't really know what item to give it to i wanted to give him the leftovers but i think torterra thrived better with that and i wanted to give it the life orb but i was just like yo i want starmie to have the life orb so i ended up giving this thing the metal coat for steel damage boost this thing has that adamant nature to give it the attack boost evs are hp and attack and a tad bit in speed and then this thing is rocking out with the move set of bullet punch x scissor sword stance to set up and protect for its final move guys if you want to see this team there will be a pokey paste down in the description below definitely go check it out you can see all the individual stats on the pokemon and maybe make them yourself but without further ado let's hop onto that double ladder and look to get some wins with this torture Terra BDSP team. Hopping into battle number one, trying to showcase Torterra to its fullest potential, and more importantly, grab ourselves a win here in first battle for the video. But let's see who this guy is rocking with. He has a, ooh, okay. I dig it, a pretty cool team right here. He has Hypno, Intimidate, Luxray, if I had to guess. It's either Intimidate or Guts, but I'ma guess Intimidate because it's so powerful in this format. He also has, is that Gorbis? I think that's Gorbis, pretty cool Pokemon. And then he has the Mr. Mime, Tangrowth, and Inferni. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I go into this? I might actually end up leading Torterra turn one. And going in with Raichu as well. Torterra and Raichu seem like they could be a pretty good combo here. Or I can just go in with Tailwind with Crobat. Because in that case, I could protect, set up a Tailwind, and then kind of one-tap on the monkey. I mean, yo, Crobat does a lot of work here. But Raichu is also good for that Lightning Rod. Um, hmm. What's the play? What is the play? Let's go Crobat here. Let's give a little Crobat love here. Crobat seems pretty cool. Um, hmm. Next Pokemon, definitely gotta bring the Starmie. Starmie just works so well. And then final Pokemon, I kind of just want to go all offense here with the Scissor, maybe. Or I could bring Arcanine for stall out later. What's the play here, Jeans? What is the play? 
I'm gonna go Arcanine for late, late game. I'm gonna go Arcanine for late game. I really do like this squad combination. Try to get off a Leech Seed early on in the beginning, control the battle, and just slowly, slowly drain your health with my boy Torterra. Because you guys know, we got them leftovers, and then leftovers plus Leech Seed, yo, we get like 50 HP back every single turn. It is awesome. But he's gonna end up going Gorbis alongside with Mr. Mime. And so Crobats can come out here, and I kind of want to taunt the Mr. Mime. I don't know why, I just feel like I need to taunt the Mr. Mime. You could swap the Gorbis or protect it, so I am going to Leech Seed over on you. I could Cross Poison. I could just straight up Cross Poison, which I think I'm going to do. I don't think we're going to want a Tailwind here. Turn 1. I'm just going to go straight into a Leech Seed. Actually, we'll slide over to Gorbis, and we will Cross Poison over onto Mime here. Let's see how this one plays out. Mime's going to fake me out. That's fine. And we're going to go for the straight Cross Poison. I'm going to put this turn all day. Get off some big damage. We half it, so that's good news. So we know that we can go for it again. And we outspeed Gorbis. This thing is going to Shell Smash, and that's looking a little scary. That is looking a little scary. So I could Tailwind here and just Wood Hammer, which might be our play. His defense is down, and we're hoping it's not White Herb. Let's see. It is White Okay. <laughs> Should have known better. Any Pokemon using Shell Smash is definitely White Herb. Um, Lethers is going to poke here, and I wonder what these guys are going to go for. I mean, we outspeed the Gorbis, which is good. actually not anymore. We do not outspeed the Gorbis. Uh, do we Tailwind set up? I think we protect. I think an Ice Beam can definitely come in here. And we set up a Tailwind. Let's do this. I'm gonna withdraw mine. The good thing we didn't go straight for that Cross Poison. He's gonna swap into Luxray, which Electric's looking a little scary. Electric is looking a little scary, and Intimidate's gonna poke. Intimidate is gonna poke here. Inner Focus Crobat loves that, and... Torterra is going to protect you. So we're hoping this thing might be going for an Ice Beam. I would assume it can learn Ice Beam, right? I would assume. And Crobat still outspeeds that thing, which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. Gor Gor or Gorbis is going to go for that Ice Beam. We protect and we block that. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, At this point, I could just hard swap into Arcanine. Get off that Intimidate. That could be lovely. And keep our Torterra in the match. And then just drop a Brief Bird. I'm thinking the electric move is definitely coming out from that uh from that Luxray, but I'm not really worried about the Luxray in the long haul. He really only counters up onto my uh Probat and my Starmie, but with Intimidates and stuff, we should be thriving. We should be thriving. I kinda just wanna start snarling and dropping these things special attack. Intimidate pokes, which is lovely. Nice lovely intimidate, and Brave Bird's gonna fly out here. How much damage can we do to this thing? How much damage can we do to this Gorbis? Solid half, dude. If we can survive this turn and we can take out that Gorbis next turn, that could be big for us. Gorbis is just going to go straight for an Ice Beam, probably into my Torterra slot. Yep, that's easy soaks for Arcanine. And what is Luxury going for? Probably Electric move. Thunderbolts can come through here, and that's going to take us out for sure. It's going to take us out for sure. Okay. So, we're sitting in this position where I can just start Snarling. We have Speed, which is great. And I think we just bring out probably Starmie, right? We can just bring out Torterra. Torterra's not bad. Torterra's not bad, but the thing is... The thing is here... Actually, I know exactly what I want to do. We're definitely going to bring out Starmie. We're going to pose that Thunderbolt. We're going to pose that Thunderbolt. Actually, mm, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, hmm. I could double protect, but then we're just wasting trick and turns. I really want to get off a of Snarl. I know we outspeed that thing, so you know what? I am going to Snarl, and I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to protect my Starmie. Because obviously the Thunderbolt is going to come out against Starmie, right? I'm thinking the Thunderbolt comes out against Starmie. And then a Hydra Pump or whatever water move. Ooh, we swapped score base. Never mind. I'm going to say the water move is probably coming out towards me. And Mime's going to fly through here. I think he's just looking for the fake out. I think he's just looking for the fake out. So we can protect and then swap into a Terra. He gets rid of all of his stat changes. Mr. Mime dodges the attack. That's a little rough, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to get that special attack drop and a Thunderbolt is going to poke. So he's going to go for Thunderbolt again. And he's probably going to try to fake me out. So in this case, you know what? We're just going to snarl again and swap in our Torterra. Thinking he's going for that uh, Thunderbolt and hopefully not affecting us at all due to our ground type. Yo, dude, I've been loving BDSP battles. I've been absolutely loving them. I just feel like I'm more engaged. Like the battles are a lot better. Like I have to think a lot more. I don't know why. I do not know why that's a thing. Am I just going to fake me out? That's fine. And is he going for a Thunderbolt? Show me he's going for a Thunderbolt. Show me that Thunderbolt was poking. What's this guy got cooking? What does this guy got cooking? See what he has cooking. Show me the Thunderbolt, because then I can just go into Protect EQ all day. Let's see. Luxray goes for Volt Switch. Oh, yes, sir. Volt Switch works. 
Wasn't a Thunderbolt, but hey, we take those. If it says Gorbice, I just think it's just a I think it's just a protect game into an EQ here. Tailwind does Peter down. Right? Protect into EQ. We should be able to soak up whatever these guys have to offer. And EQ can do a great amount of damage on the left. Or we can predict the swap and just leech seed. This is a solid battle. This is a solid battle right here. We have Snarls out, so we're kind of just slowly playing this game. We're slowly playing this game. And Tailwind Peter's out, but speed's really not a factor for us. Speed is really not, like, too big of a factor in this battle. It's not like he has a lot of speed control. We don't really need to Tailwind. He ends up just hard swapping the uh, Luxray, which is probably a smart play. And Infernape's going to pop here. And I'm down for a nice little EQ into an Infernape. I'm down for that. I'm down for that all day. Mr. Mime's going to wide guard. Oh, you son of a biscuit. That was a smart play. So this thing's rocking with a wide guard. We got a good battle on it. We have a great battle on it. Uh, what do I do in this case? What is our play in this case? Hmm. Let's swap to Arcanine. Intimidate could come in big later. But I think we just flamethrower here and we just protect the Torterra. We just protect the Torterra, dude. That monkey pose is such a big threat onto our Torterra. We don't like it one bit. We don't like it one bit. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to wide guard. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine. I think we're going for another EQ. We are not. We are definitely not. Close combat's going to fly. Can we soak that? Yes, sir. Arcanine all day. Big old soaks from Arcanine come out here. And that thing's defense is dropping. It's dropping heavy. It's dropping heavy. Our berry pokes. So we get some HP back. And dude, this battle is too good. This battle is too good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Good hard swap into Starmie here. Good hard swap into Starmie. And of course this thing eats up too. So I'm trying to think of how we should play this one. He could be going for a wide guard. I think I'm going to hard swap into the Starmie at this point. I think now would be the play to swap into Starmie because Starmie does outspeed. I know we want to swap the Torterra slot. And I think just going for another flamethrower into you could be great. And then we just drop the hard swap. Right. Do we think he's going for a wide guard? He could be going for a wide guard. But we need Torterra, yo. What a solid first battle. This is a great first battle. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, you guys already know the deal. Leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed, click that big red subscribe button, baby. Well, he's going to wide guard again. And Infernape's going to go for a close combat. And Starmie soaks that up all day. It's a big soak up. That's a big soak up. Flamethrower's going to poke. And Starmie should be able to outspeed that Infernape. Starmie should be able to outspeed that Infernape. Flamethrower's coming in hot. Can we get a KO on this one? Do him. I don't think we can. Oh, I hate this game. Hate this game. Hate it. Uh, we could Snarl, uh, sh sh I mean, Scald can do a good amount of damage. We could go for Psychic instead, but what do we think? He, he could swap. I mean, Psychic would do more damage, but he could swap. So in this case, I am just going to go straight into a Psychic here. Love the little Psychic. Love the little Psychic. I think Starmie outspeeds. It's base 150. This thing's fast. This thing's fast. It's not Timmy Nature. It is, uh, modest, but it has full EVs in its speed. Starmie's a fast little booger. Fast little booger. He withdraws the mime, so we're going for a burn on this side. Gorb is going to poke out here. I would like to get a burn on that thing. But we have Torterra in the back end to kind of deal with that. And I think Torterra is able to actually eat up an ice beam from that because it's not stabbed. But Psychic comes through, and this thing is sashed, of course. Good good to know that we outspeed that thing. He is just going to go for another close combat, and I think it's going to be over on my Arcanine. And if Arcanine goes down, that's fine. All right, Arcanine goes down. We're sitting here. We're sitting in this position where Starmie outspeeds Infernape. They are, a lot of these guys are low HP, and I might just go into a, uh, because we know Gorbice is probably going to, uh, go for a, what's it called? We know he's probably going for that ice beam, right? Do we just wood hammer it? Or do we leech seed? I'm feeling a leech seed here. Oh no, we can wood hammer that thing and KO it. We can wood hammer and KO it. So I'm kind of with just going into these two. We might have mock punch, but that's not going to KO any of my Pokemon. Not going to KO any of these guys. Oh my god, yo, this battle's coming down to the wire. Mine's on like one. I'm not really worried about the mime. And then who was his final Pokemon? Who was his final Mon? I know Gorbites can't take me out with an Ice Beam. I know it's four times super effective, but we're bulky enough to eat it considering it's not stab. We should be bulky enough for that. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to withdraw the Emperor. So whoever he throws in here is going to take this Wicked Psychic. And it's going to be Luxray. It's going to be Luxury, and Luxury might not do good with this. Intimidate comes out here, so that's going to affect my Torterra. Hopefully, we should still be able to KO that thing with a Woodhammer. And I think Torterra outspeeds that. 
Psychic's gonna fly here. How much damage can we do to this Luxray? That's some good damage. I know we outspeed Luxray. We need this Woodhammer to KO. He has a berry, and I think still another Psychic can KO that thing. I mean, I can just go into an EQ. But let's see this dude's play. Woodhammer comes out here. Come on, Torterra. Big man. Big dog making big plays. Good work, Torterra. Picks up a huge KO. Torterra, baby. And now he has that monkey. He has that monkey, which is kind of scary. He has that lovely little monkey. I'm trying to think of how I should play this one. Hmm. I mean, Torterra counters this Luxray. Um, Mime's going to fly through here. And he, that means he has fake out ready to go. I could double protect. But let me think. If I double protect, then what can we do from there? Hmm. Then what can we do from there? I think we just drop an EQ. And protect our Starmie. Did he go for wide guard? You know, he's totally going for fake out this turn. But wide guard next turn. But wide guard next turn. If that comes out from Starmie. Show me the fake out in the Starmie. Show me the fake out in the Starmie. No, it goes in after Torterra. Okay, I'm full with that. And is he going to go for a Thunderbolt? He does. So, we're sitting here. I think he's going to go for a wide guard now. Torterra flinches. Actually, he doesn't know that we were going for EQ. But in this case, I think we just straight up wood hammer. We double down Luxray. Mm, this is a good battle. This is a good battle. I said we just, you know, wood hammer into Luxray alongside with a Psychic. Double down into this thing. Because Starmie's going to go first. And then if Starmie doesn't kill, yes, he does use the wide guard. That's awesome. So, Star if Starmie doesn't kill, the wood hammer will take out the Luxray. If not, if Starmie does kill, it's going to slide over to Mr. Mime. Well, let's see how, what you got, Starmie. Starmie, yo. Big old special attacker, yo. Dude, this is a perfect way to start the video. Getting the show off Tour Terra really, really well here. Did not get to set up Leech Seeds, but we're playing really conservative with him. Getting off some great protects, dealing some big damage with Woodhammer, and just controlling the battle. And we're swapping them really well. We're swapping our Pokemon really well here. And we're going to end up picking up a huge first battle victory. Like, this is a great battle for a video. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. Torterra gets his HP back. He's really bulky. And he's going to throw out his final Pokemon, which is... I totally forgot who it is. It's a Bernie. And he's on 1 HP. G to the Gs. G to the Gs, baby. You know what? I'm going to kill him with a Leech Seed. I'm going to kill him with a Leech Seed. I'm going to kill him with a Leech Seed. You know, we're, we're just going to rub it in his face here. I'm going to rub it in his face here. We're going to kill him with a Leech Seed. Oh, we block a close combat. Yo, Leech Seed connect. Leech Seed connect. Yes, sir. Yo, killing him with a Leech Seed. The disrespect. The disrespect. <laughs> yo, I love it. Yo, the disrespect. Killing him with a Leech Seed with Torterra. That's battle number one. We're starting off this video with a huge victory. Let's hop into our second battle and look to go back to back. Hopping into battle number two for today's video. And we totally disrespected that last guy that we battled. Killing him with the lead seed at the end? I apologize. That was too disrespectful. But hey, we're hopping into our second battle. This guy has a pretty cool team. It's a Torkoal Sun team with a uh, Chlorophyll Vile Plume. Then he has Torterra, Arcanine, Cresselia, and Rotom Wash. But how should I go into this one? How should I play? I think Crowback could come in here. Taunt up pretty well. Arcanine could be good for Will-O-Wisp and all that good stuff. So I'm going to lead the Arcanine. And I think I might lead Crowback with it. Or should I go in with the Raichu? Well, actually, we can paralyze a lot. I just think Crobat's a little bit better in this situation. So I'm going to go in with them too. And then bring Starmie in the back end because Starmie does some work. And we go Torterra. Torterra could be good, but Scissor could do work here as well. Scissor could be pretty good here. So you know what? We shut off Torterra a lot in that last battle. Let's go in with Scissor here. Let's go in with the Skizzy. The Skizzy. Yo, I love calling it that. Yo, Skizzy, baby. <laughs> it's just such a funny word. But, uh... He's going to go in with the Sun Squad, so he can put me to sleep, which we do not like. We do not like one bit. We do not like one bit. I could go in with Snarl. Uh, Brave Bird can come out here. What's the player? Does he put Arcanine to sleep? Does he put Arcanine to sleep? He could put Arcanine to sleep. So do I protect Arcanine and maybe just drop a huge Brave Bird, or do I set up a Tailwind? Let's protect Arcanine and set up a Tailwind. Let's set up... Or protect Arcanine and set up a Tailwind. Can we see a Sleep Powder going into Arcanine? Let's see what's going to happen. Sleep Powder comes out here. Let's go. Let's go. Tailwind's going to set up. And we got to hope that this uh this lovely Crobat can soak up maybe an Eruption or some sort. Or whatever he's going with. He goes for the Eruption. And can you eat that? I don't think he can. Eruption's dirty. Yeah, that, that's a powerful move. That's a powerful move right there. 
That's a that's a doozy move right there. So in our case, we could go. I think we go into Starmie here. We have to go straight into Starmie here. We drop a flamethrower into Vileplume and we drop a Scald over. Cool. Okay, that's 100% what we're doing. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Do that, and then I could Psychic. Psychic could be good. Ice Beam could fly. Yo, we got some good moves here. I think Psychic's going to be... Mm. What do we think does more? Scald? Because it's super effective. It is Stab, but it's in the Drought. You know what? We're still going to go for the Scald. We're going to go for the Scald. But I'm curious to what you guys think would do more. What do you guys think would have done more? Or whoever can do like the, the calculations all, and all that. What's going to do more? Is it going to be this Scald in the Drought? Or would a Psychic have done more? Because Scald did a good amount of damage. Scald did a great amount of damage. And what do we do from here? I think they're just going to poke here. And can we get a burn? I would love to get a burn on this thing. Give me a burn. No burn. And Solar Beam is just going to dump on us. Solar Beam is dumping on us all day. All day. And that's that's terrifying. That is terrifying. Bye, Starmie. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. Starmie gets absolutely teed off on. And now we're sitting here in this terrible position where he's going to protect Torkoal and drop a trick. Right? He protects Torkoal, drops a trigger. That's 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 factual, right? But I think the only way out here is to double in the Cresselia and finish that thing off, and then get after that Torkoal in the next turn. That's gotta be our play. So let's double down. Let's do it. Hopefully this Torkoal protects. Let's see what he's up to. Let's see what this kid's up to. Protect Torkoal. Yes. Torkoal gets to protect. So you're saying there's a shot here. We need to take this thing out. Flamethrower's gonna poke. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go, Skizzy. Come on, Skizzy. You got this. Super effective, yo. We got we got some big attack on you. Let's go. Big KO there. That's huge. That is huge. So we still have speed. I think Vileplume might come back out here and try to put my what's called a sleep. My Arcanine at this point. And I could just protect the Arcanine again. Or I could double protect. What's our player? What is our player? Was, uh, no, we do not have Tailwind anymore, I don't think. We get the double into this Torkoal. This Torkoal's scaring me, man. This Torkoal's really scaring me. What does more damage? This gets Technician. It is Stab. And we do have the, the boost. And it is first turn priority. I mean, I just think we go for X Scissor. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's Valpum gonna do? When Thor comes out here. We do outspeed, which is lovely. If I can get rid of this Torkoal, we could be sitting in a great spot. Could be sitting in a great spot. He sleep powders onto Arcanine. Okay, so Scissor or what's called is dead. We are able to take out Torkoal here. This is a great battle. This is another good battle, yo. Another great battle. We did lose our lovely little Starmie early on because I was not expecting the, the Solar Beam to poke. But I'm glad we were able to take out uh, those other Pokemon. Sunlight should fade, right? Suddenly fade, he's gonna send out his final mod, which is gonna be Tyranitar. It's gonna be Tyranitar, and the rocks are kind of scaring me. I think he's gonna try to put me to sleep here. But we do outspeed this guy in this case. So you know what? We'll go for here. I could go for a burn, but I just think going into a nice, lovely X scissor. Can get some work done. Because he doesn't out you know, he might outspeed me. We'll see. The sun's gone. That's the thing. The sun is gone. He's gonna protect Tyranitar. Okay. Is he going for a sleep powder? I'm guessing. And what's he gonna do with uh what's he gonna do with Vileplum? Put me to sleep. Sleep powder comes out here and he connects it again. God dang it, dude. Arcana, I need you to wake up, dude. I need Arky to wake up. You know the rocks are scary. The rocks are definitely scary. But the protect really didn't do anything because he outsped me. But I definitely need Arcana here. I definitely need Arcana here. And you know what? I'm going to try to go into a bullet punch just in case we wake up and get some damage off. And you know what? I'm going to double down the Vile Plume. I am going to double down the Vile Plume. He might Dragon Dance with the T-Tar and try to set up, but yo, this is a solid second battle, dude. Scissor does wake up. That's awesome. Can Arcanine wake up as well? That's some big damage with that Bullet Punch. Arcanine does not wake up. Look at Scissor taking the quick naps. We love him so much. This thing is going to drop a Sludge Bomb. Arcanine should be able to soak. We still have a Berry with him, and a Rock Slide's going to poke, and Scissor dodges that. That's huge. That is huge. So we pose a really... Ooh, I was going to say, we pose a really big threat here, but... Arcanine went down there. I really need Arcanine to soak up. Okay. So in this case, uh, what do we do here? We got a bullet punch onto the uh the Vileplume, right? The Vileplume needs to go. Vileplume definitely needs to go. So you know what? I'm gonna bullet punch onto that thing. Yo, coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wild wire for second battle. 
Come on, yo. What we got cooking here? What we got cooking here? Hopefully that thing's not rock and protect. And it's not cool. Okay, so cool. We drop that thing. Vopoon goes down and it turns into a 1v1 situation where we do outspeed the Tyranitar. So we got to see how much damage this thing is possibly going to do to us. He's going to go for a crunch. We are pretty bulky. And mm, that does more than half. And he gets the drop. So we have to KO this thing here. We have to KO this thing here. And I wonder if we can do this. I wonder if we can do this. What would be better? I'm trying to think in my head. Technician brings us up to 60. Plus it's stab. I think X Scissor does more. Because this thing is also stab. It's stab. It's super effective. But the only difference is we have our times 1.2 from the uh, metal coat. Try and do the math real quick. So it goes up to 60. It's stab. So it's times 1.5. So 60 plus 30 equals 90. Plus super effective equals 180. But I don't know how that all adds up. You know, what? I'm going to trust the X Scissor here. I think X Scissor does a little bit more damage. Let's do it. Let's get it, Skiz. Let's get it, Scissor. Scissor goes for X Scissor. Finish this thing off. Give me the win. Oh, no. Yo, we lost. Unless we dodge. Crunch comes through. No. No. God dang it. God dang it. We go down here. We lose the second battle. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. Would Bullet Punch have done more damage? I would love to know. That last battle came down to the wire. We legit lost by like this much just a little bit of hp just a little bit of hp but while we were waiting for our third battle i looked up damage calculations and x scissor was the right call it does more damage than bullet punch even with the metal coat all that good stuff stacked on top of that but it is what it is both of them weren't gonna kill but we came this close we came this close at least we made the right call but hey we're hopping into our third and final battle here looking to grab ourselves a winning record going up against a pretty cool team right here pretty meta though he's got suicune scissor toga kiss it's five meta pokemon Five meta Pokemon, the Scissor, the Togekiss, the Garchomp, Cresselia, and Tyranitar. And then he has Suicune, who I'm guessing is used for Tailwind. Uh, but how should I play this one? I kind of want to get Torterra in here off the lead. I think it'll be a lot of fun because, you know, it's a Torterra video. Got to showcase this Pokemon for you guys. Uh, next Pokemon that I want to rock out with could be could be Crobat. I mean, Crobat is pretty good. Or I could go Raichu because Raichu has that fake out control. It's just really good. Hmm. Do I go Arcanine or do I go Torterra? Or no, not Torterra. We already have Torterra genes. Do I go Arcanine or Raichu? I think we bring them. Or I could go Crobat. Crobat it's looking good. I think we're going to go Raichu here. And we're going to bring Arcanine and then Starmie. I think Starmie works wonders here. Super effective against a lot of those Pokemon. So Starmie's a must. Starmie's an absolute must. But let's hop into this third battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. The first two battles were awesome. They were awesome. I'm glad I got them on recording. But he's going to lead these two guys. Um, I'm pretty cool with that. I'm pretty cool with that. We could fake out and go into a wood hammer. I'm thinking of faking out and just setting up a leech seed. I like a leech seed. I like a good old leech seed. I do like a good old leech seed. I do adore me a good old leech seed. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's go leech seed into Tyranitar. I think that could be really beneficial for us. And then I could just... Do I fake him out or do I fake out Suicune? Because I really don't want Suicune setting up that Tailwind. Right? Let's fake out the... Oh, he's in our focus. What am I doing? Fake out the T-Tar, Jeans. Fake out the T-Tar. What are you doing? He's in our focus. He's in our focus. Now Ice Beam comes through, which hopefully we can eat. We do. We soak up all day. That's lovely. That's lovely. And this thing's just going to go for Rock Slide, which we should be able to soak up that too. Beautiful. Okay. I I'm cool with that turn. As long as this Leech Seed connects. Leech Seed does connect. Beautiful. The Leech Seed's connecting. We're going to start getting some HP back. I like that. We seed him up. Ice Beam is definitely a problem. It's definitely a problem. So I could Volt Switch out or I could start Nuzzling. I'm kind of curious. I mean, I'm kind of like, I don't, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Dude, we should have just faked out that T-Tar. That could have been, could have been set. We could have been rolling. But we're going to get some leftovers and we are going to get a uh, lead seed as well, which gives us about like 50 each, right? Like 50 HP. Where we go from 56 to what we get? Where are we going up to? What are we going up to? Let me see. 56 to 89. It's a huge boost. 39 HP? You gotta love it. So I'll take another 39 by protecting my uh my boy here. And then I could brick break, I mean, or volt. It's either volt switch or nuzzle. I mean, I think if we just nuzzle up onto the Suicune, kind of slow it down a little bit. Definitely our play. And try to keep our Torterra alive. Because in this case, we could just nuzzle and maybe outspeed it with the uh with the Torterra. And maybe be able to hit it with a wood hammer. Right? That sounded pretty good. Let's see what he goes into here. He's going to go for a rock slide. We block. Uh, Raichu should be able to soak that up, right? Raichu, eat that up all day. 
Raichu, I love you. But Buffett's is going to take us out, which is a little tough. And Tailwind's going to fly. So this thing still has speed. Uh, I could swap into Arcanine, my beer call. Arcanine might be a call, but then the water's kind of scaring me. I could go Starmie. Starmie is nice. Starmie is real nice. I could go Star... I'm thinking of going with Starmie and then swapping into the Arcanine. Like swapping the Torterra. The Torterra is soaking up some shots right now. They do have speed, but the, the problem is, like, I cannot bank on a Paralyze. That Suicune is really scaring me, because it has... It covers my Torterra and my Arcanine. So what would my play be here? Go into Scald Starmie into the Tyranitar? Maybe swap into the Arcanine? So Arcanine will intimidate and neglect a lot of that rock slide damage. I'm thinking Starmie's the play here. I think it's Starmie's the play and we swap the Torterra. And we just hard swap the Torterra. I wish I could protect again, man. I wish I could protect, protect again. Uh, in this case... Yeah. Arcanine's gotta go. We gotta get Arky out here, and we're just gonna scald into Tor or Tyranitar, and hopefully get a burn. A burn could be very beneficial for us. Could be very, very beneficial. But watch this. This Suicune's gonna be paralyzed. I'm gonna be very upset. Because if it is, it is paralyzed, we could just stay in with Torterra and Woodhammered. And a focus is gonna block to Intimidate, and what's gonna happen here? Scald's gonna poke. We still have speed them all. That's great. And Scald's gonna get some good damage. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Do it for me. No burn. That's whack. That is whack. He would've got a burn. He's gonna go for a crunch. Uh, can you eat that, Starmie? Starmie does. Lovely Starmie. Love you. Starmie soaks, man. Starmie soaks. We do get a defense drop, but he outspeeds everybody. Ice Cream's gonna fly, and I'm digging that turn. I'm digging that turn. Because we could Snarl here, and I feel like this thing is gonna be paralyzed very, very soon. Like I said, we outspeed. I think Snarl is definitely the play, and we just start going from there. And Leech Heat should still be here, right? Leech Heat actually might take this thing out. That's a possibility. And I would love for Leech Heat to take that out. Right? Leech Seed should still be on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leech Seed? I think it takes him out. Come on, Leech Seed. Let's go! Torterra with the kill from the party. <laughs> from the party, Leech Seed killing him. So, Leech Seed is off the field now because his Pokemon is swapping out. But more importantly, it takes out a heavy hitter with the Tyranitar. So, we know Starmie has speed unless he throws out somebody super fast. It's going to be Cresselia, so we still have speed. That's a big fact. And Snarl is 100% of play. I think we just start Snarling and protecting our... Uh, Protecting our Starmie here. Let's start wasting out his uh, Tailwind turns. All right, we still have Torterra in the back, and really, Suicune's just a big problem. He's just a big problem. So he's gonna go for an Energy Ball. We get the block, and I think a Water Move's gonna poke here, but Snarl should come out beforehand. Yep, the Paralyze is clutching up. So that Nuzzle is doing wonders on a fast Pokemon like Suicune. Snarl's gonna poke. We get the Special Attack Drop. And hopefully he's going for a water move. Hopefully he's not like trying to set up maybe like a calm mind. And we go straight for a scald. Eat that up, Arky. All day, Arky. All day. You still have your berry. We can keep scalding. Or keep uh, snarling. Alright, so what's play? I mean, Torterra can do some work up against Cresselia. It really can. I know Cresselia does have Ice Beam. But if we just keep snarling it down and taking out this Suicune, he could do a great little play. We could, we could do something good here. So again, Snarl is going to come out here. And then we have to get that toward Terra. So Snarl. Let's go into that Psychic. I think Psychic is our best bet, right? Get after Suicune. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. Suicune might set up another Tailwind. You see it happening. He goes straight for an Energy Ball and you outspeed me. Dang, dude. Dang, you outspeed my Starmie. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. And Snarl is going to pop again, which is awesome. So let's just keep Snarling these guys down. I could protect and get Leftovers HP. But I'm trying to think of what my play should be. I'm waiting for this thing to be paralyzed. This thing has been paralyzed for like this whole game. Give me a paralyzed turn. He's gonna calm mine. He's gonna calm mine and just start boosting his special defense, which is fine because, you know, we have our Torterra, who's really the only guy who can take that thing out, and it's a physical move. So, special defense does not really matter on that. Sandstorm subsides. I do like that. I think we just snarl again and go into a Leech Seed because, yeah, we definitely need HP for Torterra. We definitely need forms of HP. Tailwind does finally peter out here. And let's start on Torterra. Can Torterra clutch up? That dude, this could be great. This could be great. I would love it for the video. Torterra clutching up a third battle victory. Snarl again, dude. Snarl again is 100% the play. I am going to lead seed over on Cresselia. I think we should be able to soak up whatever these guys really have to offer here. But hopefully we can just like Arcanine outspeeds, which is lovely. So now both these guys are minus three. Actually, Suicune is minus two. They did calm mind. 
And I'm hoping Torterra can outspeed Cresselia. Nope, Cresselia goes for an Ice Beam. Eat that up all day. All day, Torterra. Yo, that's soaking. We soaking. Landis Leech Seed. You're my best friend, yo. You're my best friend, Torterra. You're my best friend. Get some HP back. Suicune finally gets paralyzed. Yo, loving it. Loving it. In this case, I don't think we protect. I think we just Snarl and we Leech Seed to Suicune. Or we can go for Woodhammer, because we know we outspeed. We know we outspeed. And we save our protect turn. And we save our protect turn. Yo, Torterra, let's go, baby. Let's go, Torterra. We know we outspeed the Suicune, so Woodhammer's gotta be... It's gotta come out, right? Does it have to come out here? Or do we seed him? Woodhammer... Hmm, do we think it does enough? Do we think Woodhammer does enough? It's like super bulky. We can totally eat up whatever Cresselia has to offer. We're going to Snarl it again. He's going to end up withdrawing the Cresselia. You son of a biscuit. And he's going to show his final Pokemon, which is Scizor. Which is Scizor. Let's see how this one plays out here. We're going to go for a Snarl. Yoink. And a Flamethrower can dump on that Scizor. Can dump on that Scizor. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see this Woodhammer do work. Come on, Woodhammer. Come on, Woodhammer. Get him out of here. Do him dirty. Oh my god, yo, so close. So close. Torterra's gonna take some HP, and I think we can eat up an Ice Beam. I think we can eat up this Ice Beam. Unless he gets a crit. Oh, yes, sir, Torterra. Yes, sir, all day, Torterra. No. No, 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 no. What is this game? What is this game? Oh, don't tell me. Do not tell me. Flamethrower's got to be on the scissor. We have to thaw out. We have to thaw out. We have to thaw out. Let's make something happen here. Flamethrower outspeeds. Let's go. Scissor dead. Yo, dude, he gets a freeze on me. Bro, thaw out, Torterra. I need you here. I need you here, buddy. You're the man. You're the best. Thaw out. Let's go, Torterra. Let's go, Torterra. Know that, Torterra. Know that. Big old thaw out from the Torterra. And now we're kind of getting rolling here. We are going to get rolling here. Leftover's going to get some HP back. And it comes down to a 2v1. It comes down to a 2v1. If I would have lost that match with big boy Torterra here, I would have been upset. I would have been so upset. would have been awful. He's going to send out Cresselia. And I think he's going to try to ice beam me down. In this case, I'm going to go into a snarl. Or I could just flamethrower him. Protect flamethrower? Or do we snarl? Protect flamethrower. Don't want him going into an ice beam take me out. Torterra protects. And we're going to go for this flamethrower. This lovely little flamethrower. Do him dirty. Get some damage off on that thing. I don't think we're going to KO, but we're going to bring it close. Yeah, bring it close. This thing goes for Ice Beam. The reeds, yo. The reeds. And your boy is going to do it. Actually, do I try something? Do I try to disrespect this thing? Go for Elite Seed? Possibilities. The possibilities. The possibilities. Do we go for the disrespect round two? Let's go, Torterra. We're going for it. We're going for disrespect here and disrespect only. We're going for disrespect here. We're going for it again, guys. Now he ice beams me. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, man. Torterra, I'm sorry I let you down there. I'm sorry, Torterra. I'm sorry I let you die. It's all good. This next flamethrower can take him out. Obviously, you guys know we could have just went into a flamethrower, but we were going for the disrespect. We were going for the lead seat kill again. We were going for it. We were going for it. Arcanine outspeeds. This flamethrower is going to connect here. Oh, he's, this dude's protected. Come on, man. Come on, man. What you, come on, man. What you doing? What you doing? But, yo, I think this is one of the greatest set of battles we had in a while. These are all great battles all around here. And especially playing with Torterra, a Pokemon that's not, like, heavy meta. We have to play totally different and in a better way. We were swapping out. We are making great calls all around. And we ended up grabbing ourselves a winning record. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Third and final battle goes to us. Winning record for today's video. What a set of battles for today's video. Ended up grabbing you guys that winning record by going 2-1 and one and just dominating all around. We played very, very well today with this team. Swapping out well, making some great plays with Torterra. That first battle, we disrespected our opponent by getting a Leech Seed kill to win it. Second battle was super close. We did not bring Torterra, but we lost by like this much because x Scissor did not do enough damage. It did not do enough damage, but it was still a very great battle all around. And then that third and final battle, we just clutched up with Torterra. Torterra was an absolute powerhouse. Clutched up the match for us and 
ended up grabbing ourselves that winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.